Hello. How are you, Christian coach? If you're here, you're in the right place. If you want to know the conduct of a Christian coach, welcome to Right Now, where it's time to learn about Christian coaching conduct. I am Dr. AJ Austin. I'm founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC, where I get to train black women of faith to become a certified life coach online in one day. Hey, and welcome, 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 whether you're watching live on Facebook, make sure you say hey when you come in the room, because we're talking about Christian coaching conduct on tonight. If you're watching on YouTube, say hey in the comments so I can know that you're watching. Make sure you're subscribed there as well so that you can get my up-to-date, hot, juicy content like this. Because what I came up with was this kind of code of conduct, if you will. Let me write that down. Where did my pen escape to? How many of you guys are coaches? You want to become a coach? Um, and you've maybe been following me and you want to know how this thing works. How many of you guys maybe didn't know that you can bring Christianity into coaching? We hear of a lot of spiritual coaches. Um, spirituality is taking on a new meaning these days in the coaching industry. So, um, the coaching code of conduct that I came up with is for Christian coaches. So I'm writing that down. So what I discovered is that in a life coaching session, you are seen as an expert when you're the coach, especially when you're certified. Now, again, you guys heard me mention how I certify life coaches online in one day. These are Christian coaches because that's my personal belief as well. And I can only coach and train and teach and certify from what I know from experience. Like Oprah says, what I know for sure, right? And so in a session, when you're certified, you're seen as the expert, but that does not mean that you're better than anybody. So as soon as you understand that you're the expert, you're the coach, but you're not better than everybody or you're not over your coaching clients, the better. <laughs> so let's expound on this for just a little bit longer. A lot of people, when they reach out, number one, they're like, Dr. AJ, what is a life coach? Um, I think I've been kind of closet coaching, ghetto coaching, calling myself a coach all my life. Because I've been helping people and my friends call me and they tell me their business and they ask for my advice and they want my opinion and they want me to pray with them and they want a shoulder to cry on and I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of giving away the goods for free, right? Is that you? Let me see some emojis if you're live here with me on Facebook. If you're tired of quote unquote coaching without getting those three C's, cash checks and credit cards. Okay, it's four C's, but you know what I mean, right? So when you make the decision to invest in yourself by getting certified as a life coach, you're investing in the skill of learning how to coach. And in that skill, you soon discover if you take a really good training like the one I offer, by the way, you can get more information on my upcoming self-study system over at blacklifecoachquiz.com. I'll drop that in the comments for you guys, www.blacklifecoachquiz.com. When you get certified, you soon discover that being a coach is not about telling people what to do. It's not about giving advice. It's not even about sharing your opinion. And child, it ain't even about gossiping on the phone with your girlfriend. Tell her, child, what you need to do, what you should have did, what I would have did. It's not coaching. If you want to know what coaching is, make sure you head over to blacklifecoachquiz.com. Because I'm going to give you a hint. I'm going to let you tell me what you think coaching is. And I'm going to tell you what coaching is. I've been in the industry since 2013 when I became a certified life coach. I started, uh, I got the invitation to come and train and certify coaches back in 2016. So I've been doing this nearly five years now. We have 147 certified life coaches around the world. About 90% of those are black women of faith. And that's why this is called the Christian Code of Conduct. This will be a daily series as a part of a late night live series of lives where I'm showing you the Christian Code of Conduct as a coach. That's a lot of C's, right? Hey, Tamara or Tamara. Hey, uh, Angela, how are you guys doing? 
Are you Christian coaches? Are you looking to become Christian coaches? Because, girl, I got some good stuff coming up. Today, we're just focusing on how when you invest in becoming certified and you learn the skill of coaching and what it is and what it's not. Okay, let me look over my glass. What it's not. Okay. Then you realize that in a life coaching session, you're simply the expert. That means that you've invested in the skill of learning how to help your client get the results they need in their life without you giving them their answer. Because again, if you're giving them the answer, you're not coaching. I teach you how to help your client get their own answers from within. But in that session, you are seen as the expert, but it also does not mean that you're quote unquote better than your client. You just know the skill of coaching. You know how to sit with them and make the space for them to come to the answer that they need that's already within. Like, we're so smart, especially as black women of faith. We have our answers. Sometimes we want to hear other people say it, but when we hear ourselves say our answer out loud and someone hears it, it's like, oh my God, it's in the atmosphere. It's real. I've actually caught myself doing that this week recently. Like, ah! It's no longer in my head. Somebody's touching and agreeing with me because the Bible talks about where two or three are gathered together, he shall be in the midst. So if you're gathered together and you're with your client in a session and you're helping them to have a breakthrough and it's coming from within because you're skilled at the skill of life coaching, you're realizing that you're simply the expert at that skill. You're not better than your coach or you're not over your coach. You're not acting like, girl, I got your answer. You know how we do, rolling our neck and stuff. Girl, let me tell you what to do. (laughs) That's not coaching. So that's why I'm here to educate on what this process is. And coming up, I'm going to teach you the uh, spiritual principles, the Christian code of conduct behind an actual life coaching session, especially if, number one, you've never been coached, and number two, you're not a coach. Sometimes even if you are a coach, you may not know this if you didn't go through a Christian coaching type of a certification. And so we're going to talk more about how to get into that divine anointing, that appointing, that calling that's upon your life as a coach, because a coach is a call of the heart. And so I teach you how to take that call and write out that vision, as the Bible says, making it plain so that he who reads it can run with it. You're the first person to run with it. Your clients catch that vision and you guys run together. They run and tell somebody else and then you build a tribe. And so it builds up momentum. It's like a snowball effect, but you got to know where you start as a coach. And again, coaching is not about giving advice or telling people what they should have, could have, would have did if that was you. (laughs) Are there any questions about anything that I've shared on this live We're kind of late night, so I'm going to go ahead and say late night live. If you're hanging out with me live, put a question in the comments really quick. Um, And then I will tell you my free gift to you if you put a comment in the question if you're first. I got a free gift for you. Um, So I'll give you guys a few seconds. Let me get a sip of Sprite. (laughs) If you have a question about the Christian Code of Conduct, about Christian certification, etc., go ahead and put it in the comments. Again, I have a prize for the first person to comment during tonight's live. You got about 60 seconds. If you don't like free stuff, now is the time to leave, but I got a treat for that person. If no one has a question, I get it. I'll keep my prize, share it with someone in the future, and I'll give you guys the rest of your night back. So as a recap, we were discussing the Christian Code of Conduct And just kind of the ethical behavior behind being a Christian coach. And so in your session, you are seen as an expert, meaning the expert of the skill of life coaching. But if you haven't been taught that skill, you don't know what it is. We talked about what coaching is not. Talked about that just a little bit. I'll tell you more coming up in our series. Um, But as a coach, you're not necessarily better than anyone or you're not over anyone. So you don't have any type of quote unquote power to lord over anyone. So that's really all I have. If there's no questions, I will happily give you back the rest of your day. If you have a question, could you shoot up a quick emoji so I know to wait? Kind of hold on a minute for you to type it in because maybe you do want that free prize. I'll wait. Let me take my final sip of Sprite. Okay. I don't see emojis. 
I don't see questions. So I will leave you with this. Remember, <laughs> there's someone somewhere. They are waiting on you, Christian coach, to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs. Because it's when you let your own light shine, you give others permission to do the same. I am Dr. AJ Austin, your Master Life Coach Certification Trainer. Thank you for hanging out with me here live on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to head over to Facebook. I'm at facebook.com backslash Dr. AJ Austin. And vice versa, YouTube or Facebook livers. I have a whole YouTube channel over at blacklifecoachtv.com. It teaches you my last 120 plus videos of kind of breaking down some of these concepts and principles. But again, I'll be back. So make sure your notifications are turned on for when I go live here on Facebook. And your notifications are turned on because you're subscribed on YouTube. Let me know either way in the comments that you've watched the replay of this video, what you got out of it, and you could still have a chance at winning that prize. You guys have a phenomenal rest of your day. I'll see you soon. God bless. Bye, future Christian coaches.